Welcome to Chicago's beautiful lakefront area where today's game will take place. A much anticipated matchup of NFC North teams as Chicago squares off against Detroit. The teams have taken the field and lined up for the kickoff and they're ready to get this one started. From the five. Slips the thing. Let's see if they can turn this first drive into points. One of the great running backs in the league, John, up against one of the league's top defensive units. What do you think? Well, I will say one thing I think we've learned from the last couple of seasons is that a great defense beats a great offense. But this one can still go either way. Only one man back. Crosses it left. Is there on the stop at the 35. Salam fighting for yardage that time. He's able to reel off a nice game. Ball on their own 35. The Bears come out in the 4 3 with the pass. To the wide receiver, great throw to beat the zone. I tell you, the defense has to do a better job of coming up and clamping down on the receiver whenever he enters their zone. Ball on their own 47. Ball on the 47 yard line. The Bears come out in a nickel pass. Is there on the stop at the 41 yard line. Salam having a great season rushing the ball. He's now carried for over 1,500 yards. It's first and 10. All day, baby. Come on. Throws it. The defenders got it. He appeared to be fooled by the zone coverage as the timely interception is made by number 30. He's going to have to take more of what the defense gives him and not try and shoot for a big play so often. After the interception, they'll set up shot at the 41. The Lions with a four-man front. Hands it off to the back. Long comes up to make the play at the 44. I know they didn't get much, but it's all about making the defense respect the fact that you're willing to run. Gain of two. Ball on their own 44. Ball on the 44 yard line. It's on. We like the pass. Drops back with the pass. Incomplete pass. McCoy was the one they were trying to get the ball to. The defense lines up in the nickel. Gets the pass off. It's complete. Brown is there on the stop at the 43-yard line. John has proven he's a consistent target. Yeah, especially in situations where they're looking to get first down yardage. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. All right, here we go. Bring it up, bring it up. Number 48, the deep man. Late moves in motion. With a counter play. Number 55 is there for the tackle at the 39-yard line. A tough running game will make your passing attack even more effective. So it's second down and six to go. The Lions line up in a 4-3. On the carry. 
McCormick comes up to make the play at the 32. Running back finds his way into the open field and picks up the first down. And what happened was they missed him with a blitz. And when they did that, there were no linebackers to converge. And that's how he got by the first down mark. Ball on the 32 yard line. Watch screen. Hey, let's go one deep. The Lions come out in a 4 3. Pass play here on first down. Rowing. And it's caught. Mullen is there for the tackle. Johnny has such a quick release, and the ball is out before anybody knows what's happening. That makes it hard for him to be sacked, and it gives the defenders less time to react. Ball on the 18 yard line. Ball on the 18 yard line. The Lions, with a four man front, gives the ball off. Number 55 is there on the stop at the 14 yard line, and he picks up about four. And this is the eighth play of this drive. Down inside the 15. Detroit using three linebackers. Keep the throttle down. Gets the call. Mullen comes up to make the play. Number 48 rumbles forward for a gain of four. Nine yards, they'll be in the end zone. Nine yards. No stop, no stop that motor. Troy goes with a four-man front. McCoy, the man in motion. The carry it. Adams is there on the stop. On the at the ten-yard no line. The so they come up short of the first on third down, and we should see the kicker here. Trying to give his team the lead with his field goal attempt. The field goal attempt is good. And give credit to the kicker there. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get it in the end zone every time. Chicago is lined up for the kickoff. Walton back deep to return. From the seven. The defensive unit forced an interception the last time they were on the field. The Lions will start the drive at the 21 yard line. First and 10. The Bears with a four man front. Hand it off. Fakes the handoff. Fires this one deep. Ooh, nearly picked off. Sometimes in zone coverage, a quarterback will throw to a spot where his receiver is supposed to be. That time, the only one there was a defender who couldn't make the catch. Second and 10. Ball on the 21 yard line. No no Chicago comes out in a 4 3. Gets the pass off. Great move to get through. Manning makes the catch, but doesn't get very far. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry, and they don't miss tackle. So they dug themselves into a hole here, a long third down situation. The Bears come out in the quarter defense. Drops back. Closing in with the throw. Almost on Sanderson. Irving had his hands on. I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. That's a break for the offense. Number seven is ready to pump this one away. Conway looks like he's ready for the return. From the 40 yard line. 41 yard punt, return for a gain of two yards. Hey! 
The Bears will start the drive at the 42-yard line. First and 10. The Lions line up in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. Mullen is there for the tackle at the 44-yard line. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on. And a pickup of about two. Second, Second and eight. eight. Ball on the 44-yard line. Hey, watch the screens. Run, Jack! Let's go, D. Let's go. The Lions come out in a 4-3. Right, here we go. Left, left. Going to the left. They'll spot this one at the 47. On the he wraps up the ball carrier. And his tackle total is now four. Third, Third and five, five coming up. Ball on the 47 yard line. You turn it up. Let's go now. The Lions line up in a 4 3. Let's go. Hand it off to the back. Great fake. Plenty of time. With the throw, he hits his receiver. McCormick pulls him down at the 45-yard line. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. And a pickup of about two. Second and eight. Ball on the 43 yard line. Detroit using three linebackers. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. Third down play. They have to get it to the 35-yard line for a new first. Troy comes out in their nickel package. And off for the tailback. Mullen is there for the tackle at the 40. It's sort of in field goal range, but it would have to be a long one. Number 18 will come in now to punt it away. Walton lines up deep for the punt return. And he signals for the fair catch. First Ball on their own 12. The Bears line up in a 4-3. Throws it on the sideline and out of bounds. I think the quarterback just let that one get away. Manning was his intended target. Second and 10. Ball on the 12 yard line. Let's scream! We're back! Here we go! Chicago goes with a four-man front. Throwing. Broken up. Franklin was the intended receiver on that play. Number 29 had the coverage on the play. Third and 10. Ball on the 12 yard line. I'll come to baby. McAllister out of the gun. Edwards comes in motion. Watch the snap now. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. Can't bring it there. Wright is there for the tackle at the 25-yard line. Now, this is one heck of a play. Look at it. They're in a hole here on third down, and they come through with this perfect play that gets them a first and keeps the drive going. Oh, David! 
baby, come on. Do something, do something. They ain't got nothing. And in motion. The rush is on. He was tipped. He decided to try and pass it, but he was taking so much heat that it just kind of wobbled out of there. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. There we go. Looking upfield. Setting up play action. This pass is incomplete. They'll face a third down after failing to complete that pass. Defense! 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 Third and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. McAllister out of the gun. He tucks it away. Great fake. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. They'll knock him out of bounds at the 28-yard line. John will be well short of the first down. Now here's the thing. The defense had all the guys covered who were beyond the market. So it was up to the short man to make something happen after the catch, and he just couldn't do it. Number seven comes into the game for the punt. Conway back to return. He signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 34 yard line. The Bears will start the drive at the 34 yard line. First and 10. Detroit comes out in a 4 3. Hand it off. Is there on the stop. Number 48. Busted through for a few tough yards. Second, second down and four to go. On the 40 yard line. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and the score is 3-0. There. The Lions. And we're ready to start the second quarter. Second and four. Ball on the 40-yard line. Everything you've got, watch this. Detroit lines up in a 4-3. Setting up play action. Complete from the wide receiver. Blitz was coming, and he got rid of the Bulls very quickly. You know when it comes to making the right decision? This is the kind of guy you want out there under center. First so they have first and ten here. On the 49 yard line. Let's go. Go low. Go low. Keep moving. Detroit comes out in a 4-3. Pass play here on first down. Under pressure. Fires this one deep. And he lets it slip out of his grasp. The coaching staff thinks that he has some of the best hands in the team. And it's surprising to see him drop a pass like that. Second and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Clear! Clear! What's the hard count? Only one man back. Cut sends a man in motion. That's right, man. They got nothing. Not today. Get it up! Throws it. And he's ridden out at the 25. McCoy appears to have sustained an injury and will make his way to the sideline under his own power. Number 81. We'll see more action at tight end now because of the injury. Number 48 in the backfield. Hand it off. Number 94 is there for the tackle at the 15-yard line. The Bears are handling the defense right now. They haven't even had a third down in this drive. McCoy returns from being injured. 
They kicked the field goal the last time they were in the red zone. Number 55 comes up to make the play at the eight yard line. Number 48 kept his legs moving, gets seven hard earned yards. Ball inside the 10. Detroit lines up in a 4-3. Throws one up in the end zone. Jumps and makes the catch. Touchdown, Bears. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and the touchdown. point attempt is good. Big players make big plays, and that scores touchdowns. Give some credit to the linemen out there. They're the biggest guys in the field, and without them, no one gets into the end zone. Wayne is back and ready to put this one in the air. Should be a return here. From the seven. Following a punt on their last drive, the offense now makes its way back out onto the field. Ball on their own 26. First and 10. McAllister will work out of the shotgun. With the throw, jumps, and he has it. Right that right. is just Seven great nine. athletic Game ability. On the play. Second and two, two coming up here. Chicago lines up in a 4-3. Gets the pass off. Jumps up and comes down with it. Seems like all they have to do is just throw it near this guy and he finds a way to come down with it. Yeah, I was talking to the coach this week and he told me that he's probably got the best hands in the team. And right there he just showed us why. First and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. Go low! Go low! Give me go! The Bears line up in a 4-3. With the pass, he finds his man. Thomas is there on the stop at the 46. He took what he was given, completing the pass. Yeah, what you want to do as a receiver who's facing zone coverage is to break into the secondary, find a hole, settle down, and show the quarterback your number. That was a good job. Only one man back. Gives the ball off. Woodson is there for the tackle at the 40-yard line. This is tough running here. Let's watch him as he gets through right here. And he breaks a tackle and keeps moving forward. I'll tell you, this guy's hard to bring down. Number 72 comes up to make the play at the 31 yard line. The rush was on, but it's a nice game thanks to a nice throw by McAllister. He read the blitz and he got rid of the ball very quickly. This is the kind of guy you love to have behind center. The kind of guy that won't get rattled when he feels a big rush coming. The Bears come out in a 4 3 with the pass. Right is there on the stop at the 16. It's three times on this drive. They've been able to pick up a first down. Yeah, and the thing is, they'll be doing more than just picking up first downs if this success continues. They're going to be picking up some points. First so they have first and ten here. Keep moving. Watch your 
gives the ball off. Thomas comes up to make the play at the 11-yard line. Salah with a nice burst through the middle that time. Five-yard pickup. Eleven yards to the end zone. The Bears line up in a 4-3. Brown is there for the tackle. They fooled the defense with that one. And it results in a first down. First Four more yards to finish off the drive for the touchdown. They'll go from the I formation. Doesn't get much behind it. Touchdown, Lions. The veteran tight end holds it in for six. He does a great job here of avoiding the jam at the line of scrimmage and giving his quarterback a window in the end zone. Gordon comes in for the extra point. The, extra the point, point after is good. 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 After the touchdown, they're only a field goal behind. Detroit is lined up for the kickoff. Conway back deep to return. From the eight yard line. The defense gave up a touchdown on the last series. The it's Bears first and ten. Start the drive at the 25-yard line. First and ten. Detroit goes with a four-man front. Going to the left. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. They didn't fool anybody with that play call. The defense knew what was coming, and they shut that thing down quickly. Number 48 in the backfield. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Hunts. Rosen. McCormick is there for the tackle at the 48. He brings it in for a big game. Almost every wide receiver gets better at running routes as they get older. And this guy's no exception. First it's and first ten. and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Detroit using three linebackers. That's what I think. That's what I think. They give it to the halfback. Number 55 comes up to make the play at the 47. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Second and nine. Ball on the 47 yard line. Here we come. We're talking about real. The Lions hey, with a four man front. Rose it. And he, oh, he had it and lost it incomplete. He did a nice job of getting off the line and getting into his pass pattern. But he had the ball bounce right off his fingertips. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. The backs are lined up in an eye. Keep the throttle down. Oh, this is tough for you. Let's turn it up, D. Going for the deep man. What a catch. Brown comes up to make the play. play at the one-yard line. This is one of those guys that you can't let get behind you. You have to give up some of those shorter completions underneath. The ball almost on the goal line, less than a yard away. The last time they were down here, they scored a touchdown. He hands it off. Play action. Pressure rolling out to his right. He 
cleanly intercepted. Long had his hands up. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys, and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass, and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. It's second and goal at the one. Receives the handoff. Setting up play action. Looks to the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. The veteran is able to come down with a pass in the end zone. This is what good, experienced receivers do. They excel when they're given the opportunity to make big plays. comes in to attempt the point after. The, the point after is good. But completed pass after pass, accounting for all the yardage on that drive. Yeah, he and his receivers were on the same page, and that got him a score. Wayne looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Nice kick and returnable. From the five. Couldn't stop them from getting into the end zone the last time out. First and ten. Ball on the 25 yard line. Salon, the lone back. He hands it off. Play action. Fires this one deep. Just couldn't get that pass under control. It's the old adage. Speed kills. So does dropping the ball. Two minute warning coming up. The Bears come out in a nickel package. A little misdirection. Number 72 is there for the tackle. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Only one man in the backfield. Closing in with the pass. Incomplete. I'll tell you, the defense made a great stand right there. So they'll line up the punt after going three and out. Andy waves for the fair catch. Fair catch made after 28 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 28 yard line. You can stop me. Play hard and fast, baby. The Lions come out in a 4 3. Gets the pass off. And this pass is completed. Good throw, good catch to move the chain. You know, as a receiver, all you have to do is get a step, and this guy's going to put the ball on you. Ball on the 49-yard line. Troy goes with a four-man front. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Big opening. The 40. O'Donnell takes him down at the 29-yard line. When you give him time, he'll find a receiver. Yeah, and with this guy, he doesn't throw it behind them. He doesn't throw it over their head. He throws it where they're going. Ball on the 29-yard line. They're blitzing with the throw. 
The fastball is incomplete, and he throws incomplete because he had major pressure. The corner came on a blitz, and he sprinted for the quarterback. Guys love the opportunity to get a sack, and that time he just missed taking him down. Second and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Let's go now. Watch your eyes. Gets the call. Number 55 comes up to make the play at the 20-yard line. He's looked good so far. I just keep giving him the ball. Third and one coming up on this play. Chicago pulls a timeout. They have two left. Inside the red zone. And they're threatening again with the ball inside the 20. On the call, number 94 makes the tackle, but it's beyond the marker, so they pick up a first down. He just barely finds his way past the marker. Got it into the end zone on their last red zone drive. Let's go. The down. It's a blitz with the throw. Complete for the running back. That completion will give him 200 yards passing. It's first and goal at the seven yard line. Hold the look. Hunt goes to work with an empty backfield. Trying for the end zone before halftime. Clayton was the one they were trying to get the ball to. It's second and goal at the seven. The Bears line up in a five receiver set this time. Pressure coming to the end zone. Picked off. They sent the corner on a blitz and it created a turnover. There are good times to send your corner and there are bad times to send your corner. That was a good time. And now they have a fresh set of downs to work with as they try to get some points before the half. After the defense gets the takeaway, they're now set to go at the 20 yard line. The Bears come out in a nickel package. On the carry. Under pressure, gets his hand on it. He won the battle at the line of scrimmage and forced a bad throw. Every quarterback needs a little time to look over the field. There we saw a defense who wasn't given any time at all. Stepping up with the pass. Thomas is there on the stop at the 38. They're trying to get in range for a last second field goal attempt before halftime. First and 10. Ball on the 38. Keep the throttle down. From the gun. Has time. Pressure. Gets rid of it. And the catch is made. Number 30 comes up to make the play. At the 44. They throw it and pick up a second consecutive first down. Well, when you start to establish something, you want to keep it going until the defense finds a way to stop it. With the pass, it's batted away. I don't know what happened there. The quarterback did his job delivering a catchable ball. He just couldn't come up with it. Second and ten. Ball on the 44 yard line. Here we go, baby. 
Stepping up, gets rid of it. He finds his man. Wright comes up to make the play at the 35-yard line. Needs to hit this one perfectly to have a chance. The kick to the left, and he misses it. At the end of two, the score is 17 7. The Bears. 17. The Lions. 7. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. Time is over, and now we're all set for the second half to go. From the seven. Chicago is looking to extend its advantage as they take over again offensively. Ball on their own 23. Detroit comes out in their nickel package. Danny, Danny, Danny. Here we go, baby. Here we go, huh? Let's go, let's go. Looking to run it here. Runs through the tackle. Long is there for the tackle at the 30-yard line. Blight. Number 48, Blight. running hard, going Blight. right through the arm tackles. On the play. It's second down and three to go. On the, yard line. Let's go, let's go. the Lions line up in a 4 3. Leave it off. Adams is there on the start at the 38. And he was able to create a lot of space on that run, John. Well, it started with some good blocking. And when he got through there, he turned up field, and they weren't in position to tackle him. First, First and 10. ten. Detroit goes with a four-man front. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He gets the carry. Long comes up to make the play at the 48-yard line. These guys that can shrug off tackles are great to have in your backfield. Some of these guys are big and they just run over the defender. The other guys wait until the defender commits and they use a move or a juke or a spin to get out of a tackle. Detroit lines up in a 4-3. Hands it off. They'll go with a play fake. Throws it. McCormick is there on the stop at the 44-yard line. A successful offense is one that can run and throw for good yardage on first down. Gain of six on the play. Second and two coming up here. Hunt sends a man in motion. They give it to the halfback. Number 30 is there for the tackle. At the 37, the Bears are handling the defense right now. They haven't even had a third down in this drive. First and 10. Ball on the 37 yard line. Detroit goes with a four-man front. Gets rid of it. Incomplete. That ball did not have enough on it. Clayton was his intended target. Second to ten. Ball on the 37 yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The Lions come out in a 4-3. Gets the pass off. And the catch is made. Hunt completes the pass for a five-yard gain on second down. The 27-yard line is the spot they'll have to get it to to convert on this third down play. The backs are lined up in an eye. Throwing. Almost picked off. That was a good play, turned bad play. It's good because their zone defense worked well, bad because he dropped the interception. 
That's one he wishes he could have back. This will be a long field goal attempt, about a 49 yarder. Way bangs that one right through his second field goal of the game. It's on its way. From the six. This team is going to have to focus a lot more than they did in the first half if they're going to come back. The ball on their own 26. Chicago lines up in a 4-3. On the carry. Great fake. Looking for the long completion. Knocked away. And there's not one wide receiver who can ever claim that he's never dropped a pass. It's just part of the game. Second and ten. Ball on the 26 yard line. McAllister sends a man in motion. With the throw, and it's complete. Number 29 is there on the spot at the 34-yard line. Franklin didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for the pick. Third and maybe two. Chicago goes with a four-man front. With the pass, number 30 comes up to make the play at the 46. Run after the catch is so important. It allows you to run short patterns with the confidence that you can pick up more yardage once the catch is made. Ball on the 46-yard line. Nickelback in this time. Hand it off to the back. We're going to spot this one at the 40-yard line. And that's now three tackles for him in this game. So it's second down and four to go. Chicago comes out in their nickel package. Drops back. Come on. Rowing. Jumps up and he has it. Johnny has great touch. Now you say, what's his strength? What does he do best? Well, you can see it right there. It's his accuracy that puts this guy on a whole nother level. Ball on the 19 yard line. Ball on the 19 yard line. to get some points on this drive and are in good position now to do that as they're in the red zone. Brown comes up to make the play. At the 15, Salah rumbles forward for a gain of four. Ball on the 15-yard line. Ball on the 15-yard line. The Bears with a four-man front. Play to the left. Number 30 is there for the tackle at the five yard line. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. It's first and goal at the five. Let's go, boys. Let's go, now. The Bears come out in a nickel pack. Closing in, gets the pass off. 
Manning was the intended receiver on that play. Price with the coverage. It's second and goal at the five yard line. Chicago goes with a four man front. Throws it. Gets his hand up. Gaines was the one they were trying to get the ball to. It's third and goal at the five. The Bears come out in a nickel package. Gets the pass off, and it's complete. Touchdown, Touchdown Detroit. Detroit. McAllister delivers it for six points. Gordon comes in for the extra point. The point after is good. Great opening drive that ends with the touchdown. You know, this might be one of the best coaching staffs for making halftime adjustments. They always seem to be one step ahead. From the six. The last drive stalled and they settled for a field goal. Now let's see what happens. It's first and ten. Detroit comes out in a 4 3. We're talking about Lee. Pass play here on first down. Gets rid of it. Mullen comes up to make the play at the 37 yard line. And again, he demonstrates his great hands. You know, when a quarterback has a guy like this who can catch about any ball he throws, he can become kind of a security blanket. If he gets in trouble, when he starts feeling pressure, he can look in his direction because he has so much confidence in him. Detroit using three linebackers. To carry it. O'Donnell is there for the tackle. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Second and five. Ball on the 42-yard line. Detroit goes with a four-man front. Hutt sends a man in motion. Stepping up. Pressure coming. Rowing. Gets his hand up. Forrest was his intended target. On the cover. Third and five. Ball on the 42-yard line. Let's go! Consistent success on third down, which they've had, usually translates into a win. Dropping back. Under pressure. Gets away the off-balance throw. And he ducks out of bounds at the 37. You talk about great concentration. Watch this. He's able to keep his feet in bounds, make the catch on a perfectly placed pass. Is there on the stop at the 30. You can't have a good running attack without blocking. The blocking alone won't get you what you need. You got to have a back who can find the holes when they're there. 
Second and two. Ball on the 30-yard line. Detroit lines up in a 4-3. Hands it off to the back. Throws it. Brown comes up to make the play at the 26-yard line. So they're able to pick up another first down. And this offense is clicking. They're making the right calls at the right time. Number 48, Ballone setback. Receives the handoff. Long is there on the stop at the 23. They might not be busting off big game, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Ball on the 23-yard line. Ball on the 23-yard line. We turn it up. Out of the gun. Looking upfield. Mullen is there for the tackle at the 17-yard line. Number 48 is having an outstanding day with over 100 yards rushing. Ninth play of this drive. They're threatening inside the 20. The offense turned it over the last time they were in the red zone. Like, was the intended receiver on that play. The intended receiver on the play. Wayne heads out to try this field goal. But the kick sails through. It's good. He nails that one. Three field goals today. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. Chicago is lined up for the kickoff. Walton back to return. Good distance. From the four-yard line. Holden on the receiving team. Number 80. The team has to show discipline and execute properly out there. If they don't, they'll find it's much harder to overcome the other team and get a win. The Inside their own start to drive at the 11 yard line. First and 10. To carry it. Nice play fake. Throws it. Franklin was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Intended receiver on the play. Second and 10. So an update now on the injury. It doesn't appear to be anything serious, and his return is probable. Let's turn it up, D. They give it to the halfback. Mark comes up to make the play. play. At the eight-yard line. Defensive line sniffed that play out beautifully. The guys along the defensive line are very big and very active. And they're very good at sucking up blocks, opening holes for the linebackers to make plays when the other team decides to go with the run. Walton returns to the game after being shaken up earlier. Nice job so far on third down for the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. The 40, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 42. You have to play him physically off the line. Bump him off his route, jam him, stuff like that. Because I'll tell you this, if you give him a free release and he can get behind you, he can do some real damage. Chicago using three linebackers. Hand it off. Brown is there on the stop at the 45-yard line. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. Completed three quarters of play and the score is 23 14. There's Detroit. 14. 
The Lions have possession of the ball to begin this final quarter, but they're down by more than a touchdown. Ball on their own 45. Ball on the 45 yard line. McAllister starts out of the shotgun. Pump fakes with the throw. The pass falls incomplete. He was pressured as the defense forced the issue. Yeah, and that's something the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. Third and seven. Ball on the 45 yard line. The Bears come out in a nickel package. They're coming with the blitz, with the pass, and the catch is made. Number 30 is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 45 yard line. And this is the eighth play of this drive. The Bears come out in a dime package. Pressure gets rid of it. This pass is incomplete. Yet another drop for Ninth play of this run. Ball on the 41 yard line. Blue Bear, Blue Bear. It's show time, baby. Chicago looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. Closing in. Incomplete. John, he rushed that throw. And you should credit the defensive line. They do a nice job tying up the blockers and can bring pressure up the middle. When you combine their play with the fact that the defensive coordinator likes to bring additional blitzers from the outside, it could make for a very long day for the quarterback. There's no question they're trying to convert here on fourth down. With the throw, number 29 is there for the tackle at the 30-yard line. You talk about a guy who sees the whole field. He's ready to throw when his receiver gets open. That's this guy. Watch his play right here. He's looking, he sees his option, then he makes the decision to get it to him, and it's there for a big conversion on fourth down. Tosses it out to the right. Vickers is there on the stop at the 32-yard line. They went the wrong way on that one. Maybe they should stick to running between the tackles because this defense has a lot of speed. They can chase down those runs to the outside. And this is the 12th play of this drive. Ball on the 32-yard line. Chicago comes out in their nickel package. Gets rid of it. Gets his hand on it. He deflected it just in time to avert the completion. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Launching this one deep down the middle. It's batted away. And that's just the kind of play they've come to expect from him. He always seems to make a big play just when they need him to. Gaines was his intended target. Big kick here. If he makes it, it'll be a one possession game here in the fourth. The upright is good. The Lions get closer, but still need another score. I think that this team has really created some opportunities and has grabbed the momentum.
Go ahead. The team to kick this one off. Conway. From the eight. Conway returns this one to the 28. First and ten. Ball on the 28 yard line. Pressure coming with the pass. Through from the wide receiver. Can't get it from behind. And he slips out of bounds at the 49. But moves past the 3,500 yard mark with that completion. Ball on their own 49. Troy comes out in a 4 3. Hands it off to the back. Cormac comes up to make the play at the 39. Good gain on the ground gives them what they needed for a first. That's just good running. They sent a couple of blitzes in to try and stop him in the backfield, but he just broke free and got past the sticks for a first down. Ball on the 39 yard line. Number 48 in the backfield. Right is there on the stop at the 34. He's one of those guys who can put up 100 yards week in and week out. This has been just another day at the office for him. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Lions come out in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback, setting up play action, gets the pass off. Brown comes up to make the play. It's usually a good call to throw it in his direction, John. Yeah, he's got some of the best hands in the league. He'll catch just about anything he can get to. I think he's most effective when they really need to catch. Third down, things like that. That's when he really shines out there. Detroit lines up in a 4 3. With a counter play. The back breaks free. The 10. Touchdown. And the land of their fourth quarter lead after the rushing touchdown. This back loves to hit the defenders when they come close in for the tackle. He sees the hit coming, lowers his shoulder, and then boom, the defender's left lying there in his back. for two to try to make it a 14-point game. Aimed it off to the back. Well, it was still the right call to go for two there. But the defense made a heck of a play and kept him out of the end zone. Will be kicking off. Lined up for the kickoff. Walton back deep to return. This one is handled by Walton. Not much on that return. Well nope. They had him fumbling and bumbling all around before the 20, and that return was over before it ever got anywhere. They'll take over at the 17-yard line. First and 10. The Bears line up in a 4-3. Looking to run it here. Number 30 comes up to make the play at the 30. Hey, if you can keep running the ball in the fourth quarter as you're playing catch-up, that's an advantage that you have over the defense because it keeps them off balance.
And off to the tailback. Stiff arm keeps him at bay. Number 29 is there on the stop at the 47 yard line. Big gain of 17. Ball in midfield. Ball on the 47 yard line. Keep the throttle down. Chicago goes with a four man front. Pump baking. Trying something to the left. He's got it. the 10. Touchdown, Lions. When you get this kind of execution, you got a great chance of making a big play. Watch it here as everyone takes care of their assignment. The pass is thrown where the receiver can make the best play in the ball. And it's six points. The, the point answer is, is good. And with that touchdown, the move within one score as they find a way to get the ball into the end zone here in the final period, John. Yeah, they took advantage of what they were being given. Now the defense has to come up with a key stop so they can get back on the field and try and win this thing. He's back and ready to put this one in the air. From the seven. Conway was able to get it to the 22. The Bears will start the drive at the 22-yard line. First and 10. The Lions with a four-man front. Toss play to the left. They'll spot this one at the 26-yard line. He put the hit on him, and he now has seven tackles. Line up in a 4-3. On the ground. Long is there on the stop at the 32-yard line. Teams run in the middle about 80% of the time. And that's inside the tackle. So you have to be able to have some success doing it. This time, there was no problem getting it up in there. Ball on their own 32. The Lions with a four-man front. Give it to the halfback. Number 94 is there for the tackle at the 34-yard line. Gain of about a yard. Second and eight coming up here. Number 20, the man in motion. We're going to take it. Let's go. Here we go. He's it off. Great fake. Throwing. Drops the interception. He was in the right place at the right time, and that saved them from giving up a lot of yardage. So as they get set to try to convert, here's what both teams have done on third down. And we can attribute this lead to their ability to convert on third down. It off. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. The third down run, not enough to keep the drive alive, so the punting team coming in. There's nothing wrong with trying to grind it out in the fourth quarter when you're playing with a lead. Number 18 is ready to punt this one away. Walton into return.
the 32 yard line. We've got a good one going here today. Two minute warning coming up. Chicago using three linebackers. For the counter play. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. The defense made that play stretch further than the runner wanted to make it. Almost at the two-minute mark now. McAllister sends a man in motion. And we've reached the two-minute mark. The Bears line up in a 4-3. Hand it off to the back. They'll go with a play fake. Rowing. It's batted away. He just dropped his fourth pass. Defense has been stepping it up on third down all day. Under pressure. This is what happens when you miss one. Guys go by, quarterback goes down, team loses yard. And they go with a no huddle. Dropping back the pass here, needing a big fourth down conversion. Irving is there on the stop. The quarterback is calling them back to the line of scrimmage. Keep the throttle down. Gaines goes in motion. Steps up into the pocket. Pressure. They'll take another set. I'm not sure why he held the ball so long. You've got to get rid of it. Throw it away. Especially after you've just been sacked in the previous play. With the pass, he has his receiver with some running roll. Troy calls a timeout. They have two timeouts left. McAllister in a three-yard completion. That'll bring up third down. Third if you convert on this third down, they have to reach the 38. They'll go from the shotgun. Stepping up, rolling. Ooh, nearly picked up. He just dropped his fourth pass. And here's how they've done so far on fourth down. Everything you've got. They're in a tough spot here, but they have to go for it. Nothing deep. Uh -huh. Looking to pass, facing a fourth and long. Throws it, and it's complete. Norman is there on the stop at the 37. So after that nice catch and run, here's a look at his stats. With the throw. They like to throw it to the sidelines in situations like that. His throw is just a little off. Manning was the intended receiver on that play. And this is the tenth play of this drive. Out of the gun. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. Vicker is there for the tackle at the 28 yard line. They're going to keep it moving here. They're heading straight to the line. Going to the first on short yardage. Rosen. And he hits his target. That'll move the chains, but the clock is working against them as they need a touchdown to move ahead. And it looks like they're going to go with a no huddle. They're coming with the blitz. Incomplete. He's had a lot of trouble reeling in the passes. They need that touchdown, so I'd expect him to keep passing here. And this is the 13th play of this drive. On the ground. Play action. 
throws to the end zone. It's broken up. And this is an incredible play by the defender. You know, he didn't look like he would be there in time. But he jumped over the top of everyone, and he got his hand on it to knock it away. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. Drops back. Pump faking with the throw. They'll spot this one at the 10 yard line. He found the ball carrier there again, and that's something we've seen plenty of in this game. They get the first down, but they need to hurry. Trying to get into the end zone with under a minute to go. They got into the end zone in their last red zone trip. If they can duplicate that, they'll take the lead. Floats one into the end zone. Right on the money. McAllister with some very nice footwork in the pocket, and that touchdown pass gives his team the lead here in the fourth period. Keep the kicker on the sideline as they attempt to make this a three-point game. Franklin in motion. With the pass, they don't get the two points. Take a look at his success returning kicks. We get ready for the kickoff. Gordon in to kick this one off. Squib kick here. Not the type of kickoff they wanted. <laughs> Penalties and takeaways are just as big a factor in some games as effective offense. The team that stays mistake-free usually wins the game. Ball on their own 40. The Lions come out in a 4-3. Throwing. He finds his man. McCormick with the stop at the 47-yard line. When you think about guys with great hands, he's very close to the top, John. I'll tell you what. He does a great job of using his hands and not letting the ball get into his body. He's worked very hard to improve his pass catching. And I think he's become one of the best out there. Looking for the long completion down the left side. Gets his hand on it. So this could be the last play of the game. And it all comes down to this. They have to get it into the end zone or it's over. Looking for the long completion. Almost in a second. Great battle with two potent offenses showing what they can do today. Goes down to the wire with less than a field goal separating these two teams. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.